the last interview, and I didn't do it when I was a kid because I was a mouse and I was five. Who just knows who I would have known? It would have done by now, but it wouldn't quite do Who knows? So my degree finished in 2000 in Hertfordshire, at Hertfordshire, and I've been working with Devore and with Sil. Tess Barnes, lovely, lovely sort of interview, because I've been passed away this year and introduced me to it through the Sil Painters Group. Um, and I explore all sorts of different things. Uh, this one is drawing flower paste. And then in the Burnish things afterwards, I have a portrait of my daughter, which is quite interesting. Oh, wow. um, which is fun to do, it's quite a challenge. And normally you work on silk when it's quite dry, if you don't want the colors <coughs> to flow, but if you wet it, you can keep working on it. That was the one I did at a children's workshop the other week. So you can draw. You have to have an outline so that you don't want the colours to run, otherwise they just spread. So there's an option to do a little hoop like that. We've got some ready outlines. I've put these in <laughs> pictures. Which, if anybody wants to do these, I've got some cards to go on. Or if anybody wants to do them and then stitch them later, then it's left to place those. Um, we've also done a big, we've all got to out this one because the Latin is the, that's the word. So, um, this is the plan. If you put salt on silk, you get the most amazing patterns. It draws the moisture out of the silk and it moves the colours. So that's quite fun to the outliner is called Gutter. It's a gum. You can use wax on silk and you literally just hold it down on the hold it down on the silk and just draw with it like a draw with a pencil. And it creates the marks so things hopefully. It's going to be a fun morning because we're all going to play. So it's whether you want to start with a picture with a, a little hoop or whether you want to try the big piece first. I've got two big pieces so we've got to get a feel for how the colour goes because I can show you. It spreads like... Colour is just going to run, it's just going to spread. Is there something on here with salt? It's probably not here. These are acrylic based because they're iron a bit um, much nicer, but you need to steam things for two and a half hours unless you do them in the microwave, but you can do it in two and a half minutes. So it'll spread. So it's Let's start and see what happens. Okay. Okay. So it's up to people to decide what they would like to do. Okay. You can start, but they just want to play with a little piece or have a go on here and get a shoot for it. With my right. initials. So this, sorry. Yes, so I've never done it. So you the gum. There's two. Okay, right. really can just play with a little bit of 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 Yes, they do. So and I've got some other colours if you want to like that. Yeah. There's a big one. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 
A little bit abstract, shall we put it that way? Uh, more water, less water, sort of a red on Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. What's going on over here? Oh, look at you. My wife keeps bees, so. Uh... Thank you. 